Hey, I didn't see you there. Welcome to Shop Farmer Garage. Working with World Car Auto Group today. And today we're gonna look at this 2018 Nissan Rogue. The driver's door latch, it, it ain't locking. You know, it's like, it's not locking. So we're gonna check that out right now. This is the door, and uh, this is the door latch that we're going to be replacing today. And this is why if I hit the lock and unlock button, it doesn't do anything. But if I pull this back and I hit the lock button, you can see it move there for a second. That's it, that's all we get. Yeah, just a little bit of movement, maybe. So we're gonna haul, go ahead and uh, pull this door panel off and replace this, this door lock, door latch assembly. So I've never replaced a door latch or door lock assembly in a Nissan Rogue. I mean, I've done it on plenty of other vehicles. Uh, door latches, door locks, um, window glass, window regulators, window motors, um, but uh, just never on a Nissan Rogue. So uh, we're gonna try it, see what happens. I got some trim tools right here and <clears throat> I did look up a couple of things on how to do this and supposedly you need to take this trim piece off, then this trim piece off, and then I think they need to take this trim piece off. I think we got like screws here, here, and down in here. Something like that. So <clears throat> let's see. Let's see if we can pop this off without breaking it. So, yep, that's starting to come off. Got some clips in here. Sometimes, you know, it's kind of hard to tell with that noise, you know, is it a clip coming off or is it something breaking? That don't sound too good, but that's it. No broken clips from what I can tell. Now, this piece is supposed to come off right here. And we got a wiring harness right here. So, here's the other piece. We got the <clears throat> controls for the mirror on it. Looks like we got this bracket here. Um, hmm. What about this thing? Maybe we'll try and take this off first. A couple of bolts. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's see what we see. Pull this off. And it looks like that's attached to that, which is fine. I just want to get this off. So now that comes off. Well, we got some wires connected. Just connect some wiring. Right there. It definitely is a piece connected in there. This is off. So let me get a socket for that. This is what we got so far. So we got this one bolt in there that holds the door panel on. Got these two bolts off that just 
takes it off of this bracket right here. And you can see that this bracket is bolted in there. And this bracket is attached with screws on the inside to this plastic piece. So I'm guessing that's the next one we need to take off. And then the rest is just gonna be, you know, clips all the way around here. So let me get that piece out and let's see what happens. All right, see if I can fit this in there. coming out but okay got it so now all this is loose and I just need to start pulling the trim like that And there it is. It is open. That's one piece. Getting the latch out. That's going to be another thing. We're going to have to roll this window up. <clears throat> so let me get the switches here. Plug them back in. Uh, I know, they come I know it fits I know it this is part of this vehicle because I took it off it's got to fit okay turn the key on roll up the window no wait the key's not on there now the key pull the window up and get it out of the way turn the key off disconnect this Figure out how to make this thing stop making noise. Hmm. There it is. I mean, Got to figure out how this thing stops making noise. It's giving me the noise saying that the key's in the car. Take the key out of the car. It's still beeping. I got to close the door and open it to get the noise to stop. Now I can put the key in the car and it's not making any noise. I, I don't know. I don't get it. So let's figure out how to get into this, get this latch off. Okay, let's look at the new latch first, just to see what we're in for. This is the latch assembly that you see in the door. It's actually like this, that was upside down. And we got these two cables coming off of it. And one is the lock, lock and unlock, and the other one actually is where you pull the door handle on the inside. This one has this cable coming off the top. And this one, looks like it's the same thing as the door pull handle so i'm guessing that this comes around or something and goes to the outside handle somewhere and then what's this what does this do is this a lock for the for the key i guess we'll find out let's get this thing out of here see what it looks like make sure we got the right part okay i'm gonna pull this handle off if I can if I can figure out how it okay it just slides back pull the screw out and then it just slides back <clears throat> and these are the cable ends for the lock and the door handle so I get those out of there and then I'm just gonna carefully try and pull this plastic plastic piece off 
they call it a weather barrier and <clears throat> it has this really really sticky very pliable type um, sealer um, I try, I'm trying to think of what the name of this stuff is um, this this black sealer <clears throat> you can make a really really big mess with this stuff so you don't want to get it everywhere when it gets really really hot it starts to get runny and sticky and it sticks to everything so just be careful <clears throat> if you're doing one of these be careful with that a lot of door panel weather barriers have them uh, some of them don't but there's a lot that do it's also used in a lot of AC um, ceiling AC units and stuff like that <clears throat> okay so let me get you up in here so you can see what I'm looking at okay so when we look in here this is the back of the door latch you can see the run channel right here comes down that's where the window comes down into the run channel there we can see that other cable that I was wondering about it does loop around and it does go to the exterior door handle and we can also see uh, this bar right here it's coming down from the door lock up there so let's see if I can take this off just pop that clip around like that and pop it off and there it is it's off uh, there it is there's that little bar that goes in there and it looks like this thing has a clip pull that off and this is going to be another deal up here how to get that off i may have to take the exterior door handle off that's what it looks like so we'll see about that <clears throat> maybe i can take this cable off from the latch and then we don't have to take the exterior door handle off um, we may have to pull this lower run channel guide i think that's what we're gonna have to do we got a screw right here our bolt yeah we also have a couple of torque screws right here well three of them so might as well get those out pull this off see if this comes out and see if we can just you know like wrestle it off of there but it looks like this run channel right here that run channel as soon as i take the screw out i should be able to just pull that thing out and it'll be out of the way and um, the thing should come right off the only thing i think we're really gonna have to fight with is that door handle up there unless we can do it without taking that door handle off we'll see so let's let me pull this off and see what happens okay I'll pull that one out and let's see how this thing comes out of here so i grab this and it just comes right off it comes right off of that right there so there it is so now the thing's out of the way you see the door latch should just come right off well after we get these off okay these are three t no they're not i thought they were t30s this is a t45 who put this in my thing okay this is a t30 t30 and you can see how the thing just fell in Let me set this down. So we got a harness right here on the bottom. And disconnect that. Pull this around and then 
all we have to deal with is this one cable going up in there and in order to get this cable off of the door handle I need to take the door handle off unless I can just pull it off here so let me see how this comes off I mean if I break this one it's all right because we got a whole another brand new one looks like it just pulls out of there so hmm Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, let me check this out. Okay, I took this off and put it on a couple times just to make sure that I knew how to do it um, before I mess with the other one. So you have to be able to twist it. Okay, and stick a screwdriver under there twist it like this screwdriver pops out and then this thing comes out of there just like that so it's not hard um, then we're gonna figure out how to get this piece out of here there it is so I don't know if you can see how that thing is Anyway, this is off, so uh, let me get the new one. I want to interrupt this program just for a brief announcement. Um, I uh, picked up some parts for a drag and drive car. Yes, we we're building a drag and drive car. If you don't know about that or if you haven't seen that series, I'll leave a link right up here. You can go check it out. But uh, yeah, I went to Arlington, Texas, picked up a bunch of parts from Summit Racing. There's a bunch of them on the ground right there. Um, I made a video of it and I put it on uh, Shop Farmer Garage uh, at Facebook. And uh, go to the Facebook and uh, check it out. There is a link in the description box below and I will see you over there. Okay, here's the new one and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to stick this screwdriver right there leave it there while I twist this the screwdriver goes flying pull this out pull it up there and just like that it has this space it goes in throw that down grab the old cable which is still good put that in a space turn it stick it in there like that turn this stick it in twist it in place then this is going to go in here like this so let's get this lined up over here okay now I'm gonna pull this up to place line up these holes right there get these screws started Like I said, I've never done this on a Nissan Rogue before, but as you can tell, it's pretty easy. You just need to know where the trim clips and stuff are, because those can break, you know? But, I mean, you could do this. Anybody could do this. Um, it's just a matter of, uh, you know, getting into it and doing it. Um, tighten these up. That's not good. All right. Um, okay. Okay. Um, we gotta remember to plug in the connector, and then this thing is going to go up in there somehow. Let's see if I can feel it. Feel it. Right. Oh wait. Before I do that. Before I do that. Let's look up in there. So we got this cable that's 
needs to go back into place right there. Actually, it was further down like that. We got this rod. This rod needs to go into place. Come on, get in there. To find it. Loop this around. Pop it on there like that. Okay. Now, where's that guy? Stick this guy up into there. Somewhere. Something. Like that, right there. <clears throat> Line it up over here. Make sure the hole lines up. And push that around right there and get this lined up and tighten that up. Where's my tool? Okay. That's done. Now, oh yeah, you see how that stuff sticks on there? Okay, this goes through this hole right here. These two stick through that hole right there. And all this should just stick on. This uh, <clears throat> this sticky uh, black stuff, it's called butyl. Um, and that's, uh, um, it's kind of like, a, it, it, does, it never cures. It's always sticky. Um, whenever you're in very, very cold temperatures, it may harden, you know, as long as it's cold. Of course, once you warm it up, it'll be pliable again. Um, but I mean, it can get hard as in brittle in very cold temperatures. In very hot temperatures, it'll melt. And um, I've even seen where all this black stuff is completely melted and gone on the inside. And it can get into door mechanisms and stuff and door handles make them not want to work, door latches. Uh, it's, it can become really, really nasty once it, once it heats up and the, the heat of the summer, especially over here in South Central Texas. Yeah, it's definitely possible. It doesn't happen a lot. Uh, it's, pretty stable but you never know so this thing fits right in there that little ball then turn it and lock this piece in and this one you have to it's like a key and get it into the slot right there and then turn it this way and then that locks down and then these little hooks they hook right there, right there on those three spots. These three hooks, just line them up, move it over, just like that. And then find the screw that's meant to go in there. Where did it go? I think it's this one. And I'll tighten that down. Okay, now before we put this handle on, let's plug this thing in, or put the door panel on rather. I'll plug this in real quick. See if it works. Yep, there it goes. Works good. Okay, let's take this back off because we need to get the door panel on. Okay. Okay, here's the panel. And I need to make sure that I get the wiring harness through this. And I think there's another one. It's supposed to go through the top right there. Right here. I think. We'll find out. It just hooks on the top and then you hold it down and then 
pop it like that. And of course my harnesses just fell in. There they are. Let's look at this. Yeah, there's a harness right there. So now I'm just gonna pop these clips all around, knock them in. That's good. We get uh, one of these really, really long bolts that was kind of hard to get out before. I'll stick it in there if I can. Try to find out where does it go. Why is it not going? Door. Because the plastic moved over. That's what it was. Looks like the plastic moved over on the inside. There it is. So it's hard to find that hole there. get a screwdriver or something okay just so you can see what I'm talking about there's a hole right there it's actually right above where that used to be the hole now it's up here just because this inner plastic was moved that's the plastic we just moved so I am going to try and get this started it's hard with this bracket in the way I can get it started get the screwdriver through here right there and just run it out this is a pretty long bolt I mean for what it is it's long I mean it just seems like you'd be scared that when the window comes down it's gonna scrape on it so there's that one we got these two shorter ones I'm gonna go right here there. Where is my stuff? Okay. Oh wait. Oh man. Hang on. Before I put this on, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. I want to get this in. So I attach this. And there goes one of the bolts. This attached. Do I have it the right way? No, I need to turn it. Okay. Get this down in here because this one thing did not want to come off with this bracket attached. And of course, look, I'm putting it on backwards. Oh, okay. Can I fit it in there without? breaking anything okay <laughs> okay there it goes now I got lights flying everywhere now I'll put these screws in if I can find the one that just fell We got one more right here. We get this thing hooked up. Hook up the wiring harness. Get it popped into place. It's got trim clips on it. Push it. But don't break it. Easy, but quick, but slowly, but easy, but hard. Okay. And then one more. This thing right here. And it's the same way. It has attached clips. Just make sure it's in the right spot. You know, before you go. Okay. And that's it. It's e easy as that. And then it works. Still works. It still works. 
amazing. And that, my friends, how you replace a door lock, door latch assembly on a Nissan Rogue. Um, and that's pretty much it. That, that we're done. That's the video. Um, so uh, I hope this was a short video. And uh, just a little video show you um, how to put a door latch on a Nissan Rogue. If uh, you want to do it, you can do it too. And um, that, it's that simple. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, go and uh, check out uh, uh, our Facebook page, uh, Shop Farm and Garage on Facebook. Uh, follow that. And um, I will see you in the next one. In case you are wondering, it does close.